Trump is actively considering moving U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem again, after delaying decision. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence has said President Donald Trump is actively considering moving the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to the more controversial location of Jerusalem. The idea to move the embassy had been in discussion back in June, but was postponed when Mr. Trump signed a waiver to keep it in Tel Aviv. Mr. Pence said the only questions now are when and how to move the embassy despite the ongoing issues of Palestinian and Israeli control of the holy city of Jerusalem. He made the comments in a speech at the Israeli mission to the United Nations in New York to mark the 70th anniversary of the UN vote calling for the establishment of a Jewish state. The likely reason Mr. Pence has commented on the issue now is that the waiver Mr. Trump signed in June is coming up against a deadline next month to either extend the waiver, as predecessors have done in order to avoid adding more fuel to the fiery tensions in the region, or go through with the move. The 1995 Jerusalem Embassy Act, signed by Congress, requires the move but the waiver option has been exercised ever since. When the act was signed, then Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin did not have a full-throated support for the move. Former U.S. Ambassador to Israel Dan Shapiro, who served in Senator Dianne Feinstein's office at the time, commented on Twitter that Mr. Rabin didn't want it forced when it could disrupt the overriding strategic goal of completing successful negotiations with the Palestinians. At the time of the waiver signing, the White House had said in a statement that the president made this decision to maximize the chances of successfully negotiating a deal between Israel and the Palestinians, fulfilling his solemn obligation to defend America's national security interests. Mr. Trump named his son-in-law and White House adviser Jared Kushner as one of the main brokers of a peace deal between Israel and Palestine. He came under fire for the decision primarily because Mr. Kushner lacks any diplomatic experience, but is also close family friends with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Mr. Kushner's parents have also contributed to Israeli settlements that Palestinians have said encroach on their land. Though Mr. Netanyahu was disappointed with Mr. Trump's waiver despite months of rhetoric on the move, the Palestinian Authority's U.S. Ambassador Hussam Zamlot said signing 